Hello, sports fans and football fans. I'm here again with my NFL picks. We're doing week 15 this week, but week 14 was another <coughs> bad week for the uh, for the sportsman. It was six and seven. Underestimated some teams, overestimated some teams. Some teams got upset. Some teams almost really got upset. I mean, I picked Dallas to beat the Texans, and luckily they had a last-minute 98-yard touchdown drive that um, propelled them over the Texans. Otherwise, would have gotten that game wrong, too. So, another terrible week. Um, and, uh, yeah, 6-7 and seven on the week. I think on the year that puts me just below the 60 mark, the 60% mark. So... We'll have to try to claw our way back over that. Uh, this week is going to be, this is week 15, as I said, and this is going to be a week where there will be three games on Saturday. Um, so I think we're starting, we're starting into that part of the schedule. I mean, there's only three more weeks and <coughs> it's well known that the NFL likes to near the end of the season, put games on Saturday as well as Sunday. So um, I, I guess after the the college football season is essentially over, except for playoffs and uh, bowl games. So with that having been said, let's get into it. In the first game of the day, or of the week, the first game of the week will be the Thursday game. And that's going to be the 49ers at the Seahawks. Now, Purdy played great last uh, week. We don't know about Purdy's status. He's listed as day-to-day, -day, but I got to believe Purdy's going to be in there. But even if he's not, the San Francisco 49ers have a stifling defense. So we're going to go with the 49ers in this one. Take the 49ers to beat the Seahawks. The Seahawks were one of the teams that I thought was going to win last week, and they didn't. That puts us into the Saturday games. And it's fitting that Jeff Saturday will be coaching on Saturday. And he'll be taking his Colts up against the Vikings. <coughs> the Vikings were a team that let me down. They lost to the uh, Lions. I did not see that coming. Probably should have, though, because of the Vikings' 10 wins, they won those 10 games by a combined 10 points. So... They are a little bit smoke and mirrors, but I don't think Saturday's up to the task on Saturday. And we're going to take the Vikings to beat the Colts in that one. Next one we got is a, is a division rivalry, and that's going to be the Ravens and the Browns. Now, you got Deshaun Watson back for the Browns, and he's got two games under his belt now. So he's probably starting to get accustomed to things. Meanwhile, on the other side, you got the Ravens, who are down to possibly their third-string quarterback. So, yeah, let's go with the Browns on that one. I think I'm going to take the Browns to beat the Ravens. <coughs> Even when I pick the Ravens to win, they barely pull it out by some kind of miracle at the end. And then the last Saturday game is going to be the Dolphins at the Bills. And uh, this game... It's supposed to be like, I think, six to eight inches of snow. And you got these guys coming down, you know, these, these guys coming down from, or coming up from Miami. No. We're going to take the Bills. The, not only are the Bills a good team, they're probably better uh, equipped to play in six inches of snow. That, did I say six feet? I didn't want to say six feet. It was six. It's supposed to be six, six, six to eight inches. So yeah, they're better equipped to play in that than Miami is. There isn't going to be a snow plow this time. So, you know, <clears throat> well, there might be for the Bills. Who knows? Now you got the uh, the Sunday games. Got the Eagles at the Bears. <laughs> Nope, I threw the wrong one, but we're going to go with the Eagles on that one. I was looking it's like the reverse image. But anyway, we're going to go with the Eagles over the Bears. You do want to throw the Bears helmet, but we're taking the Eagles in that one. 
Next one you got is the Lions and the Jets. Now, this is a tough one because both of these teams, <coughs> previously bad teams, now looking real good. I am going to go with the Lions, though. I'm going to take the Lions in this one. They looked really good last week. Their defense is getting better all the time. The Jets do have a stifling defense, but we don't know about Mike White's status. He might be out. Um, if he is, it might be Flacco. It might be Zach Wilson. We don't know. So um, I don't know where to go there. <coughs> but I do know that Jared Goff and that Lions offense can score points. And excuse me, I'm, I'm still, <coughs> still getting over a cold. So, um, I've got a lingering cough from the cold. So, uh, the next one we have is the Steelers and the Panthers. And in this one, I'm going to go with the Panthers. I think the Steelers might be down to, um, having to resort to Mitch Trubisky. And as a Bears fan, I can tell you, Mitch Trubisky is not that good. The man threw three interceptions last week in relief of Pickens. So, next one we have is the Chiefs and the Texans. Now, the Chiefs, I got to say with a caveat here, the Chiefs are not really quite as good as I thought they were. Um, they almost lost, or they could have lost. But we are going to go with the Chiefs in this one. I think they'll still beat the Texans. I think just like Dallas, if they get in a bind, they're going to find a way to beat the Texans. Because a lot of teams have found a way to beat the Texans. Next one you have is the Falcons at the Saints. I'm going to go with the Saints. Only because they have a really, really great defense. And the Falcons don't have a really, really great anything. So... We're going to take that. And we're going to go with that. Next, you have Dallas and the Jags. Now, this one, especially with how Dallas did against the Texans, you could see the Jags winning this game. But I really can't, in good conscience, pick the Jaguars to beat Dallas. So, we are going to go with Dallas. Let's take Dallas. The Jaguars are still a bad team. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. They're still a bad team. Trying to get better, but still bad. The Cardinals taking on the Broncos. The Cardinals, now Kyler Murray got injured in the Monday night game, like on the third play of the game. He wasn't even hit. <clears throat> he just went down and he was injured. I'm expecting he probably won't play, which means that Colt McCoy will play, but Colt McCoy is a, um, <clears throat> he is a capable backup quarterback, and uh, Denver is terrible. So we're going to go with the Cardinals. Denver did almost come back last week, and in fact, I think they uh, they took um, they took Wilson out of the game. I don't know if it was to injury or just because they had seen enough of Wilson. But they they're going to have to see some more because they gave him a huge contract for a lot of years. Um, Patriots at the Raiders. In this one, I am going to go with the Patriots, but of course, we don't know whether this is going to be the, um, the Dr. Jekyll Patriots or the, the Mr. Hyde Patriots, but these guys are just Mr. Hyde. So get them out. Next game you have is the Titans at the Chargers. I'm going with the Chargers. The Titans are just, they're falling apart before our eyes. They may end up winning their division, but they're going to have to hang on for dear life to do that because right now I think they're like seven and six. So, um, or seven and seven or something like that. They're not, they're not good. Next one you have is the Bengals at the Buccaneers. And yeah, we're going to go with the Bengals here. The Bengals are hot. They're riding a hot hand with Burrow. Burrow has all of his weapons back. And Brady looked really bad against the 49ers. I mean, is it just me or did he look really bad against the 49ers? 
Now the Sunday night game is going to be the Giants and the Commander, my Commander. And I am going to go with the Commanders here. I think the Giants, I think the Giants did a little smoke and mirrors thing to start the season out. And they, they look better than they really were, or are. And I don't think they're that good. But with Heineke, man, Washington is a force to be reckoned with. And that brings us to Monday night. You got the Rams at the Packers. <coughs> um, the Rams are just falling apart at the seams. And that's the only re And the Packers are at home. That's the only two reasons that I'm going to go with the Packers here. But, yeah. The Rams, terrible. So, those are my picks. Hopefully, I can get... Um, I mean, this was a full slate. There was no buys this week. So... Hopefully I can get about like 10 or 11 or 12 of these things right and we can get back on track. But let me know if you guys agree. Let me know where you guys differ with me. Give me a thumbs up for the video. Leave a comment below because that helps with the algorithm and, uh, you know, and, and getting this video out to more people. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.